So here we go with page four of the test. On this one, you want to be sure you read everything. It says a piece of metal is in a beaker of boiling water at 100 degrees. So make a little picture in your mind. You got a beaker sitting here. Here's the beaker. Here's water in it. It's boiling water. There's bubbles in it. And in the bottom of the water, there's a piece of metal. Looks like that piece of metal sitting there. And we're going to take that water and put it into a styrofoam cup. So here's a styrofoam cup. It's sitting here. And it's got water in it. So we're going to take the metal out of here and put it in there. Mm -hmm. So this metal is going to get colder. Right. And this, this water is going to get warmer. How should the heats compare? Um, they should be the same. Yeah, the same. All right, so uh, if I wanted to find the mass of the water in a cup, we got this is the water in this cup down here. I'm going to take 135.07 and do what with that 2.24? This is right. Yeah, you're going to subtract those. So that would be a 3. 10 minus 4 is 8. 5. 4 minus 2 is 2. So it'll be 132.83. So 132.83 grams. Okay, we also need to know what is the change in temperature of the water. Now we know the water started at 24 and it ended at 37. So I'll take the big number and what, do I, what am I going to do with the smaller number? I'm just right there from the Yeah. Number. So now 15 minus 7 is 8. That is a 6 now. So 6 minus 4 is 2. 1, 12.8. So that's a 12.8 degree change. Right. All right. Next thing we need to do is find the change in temperature of the metal. And the people that tried this and got this far kind of messed up sometimes here. The change in temperature of the metal is simply the beginning temperature of the metal, which was that temperature, subtracted and... Um, it's a difference between this temperature and this temperature is what I'm trying to say. Because the, the metal, when you put it into the water, cools, and the, its temperature drops to equal the temperature of the water, whatever the, whatever the final temperature of the water is. Right. And that's why I said right here it's also the final temperature of the metal. So we'd have 100 minus 37.5. All right, so then you have 10 minus 5 is 5. Let's see, you do 10, borrow that, make 9. 10, borrow that, make 9. And then 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 7 is 2. 9 minus 3 is 6. So 62.5 degrees would be the change in temperature of the uh, water, right. excuse me, of the metal, the metal that came from here down to here. All right, so now we need to find the mass of the metal. Uh, what did we say about Q equals, didn't we say the, the heat change of the metal would equal the heat change of the water? Mm -hmm. I might have even said that up here. Assume that all the heat is gained by the water in the styrofoam cup is lost by the metal. Okay, so Q of water equals Q of metal. So let's go ahead and find Q of water. Do we have the information we need to find Q of the water? Yes. Yeah. So Q equals M, C, P, delta T, because there is a temperature change, correct? Right. So what's the mass of the water? Oh, um, 12.8, oh, one Clean mass of water, that's the 132.83. Got to keep track of these numbers, that's not always easy. All right, the heat capacity of water, do we know that? Yeah, it's listed right here, that's 4.18, that keeps popping up, doesn't it? Yes. All right, and um, do we know the change in temperature of the water? Yes, 12.8 Celsius. Yeah. So now to find Q of the water, I'm going to come on down here to do that and skip over the line. The Q of the water, no, I should have been showing the work down here. So the Q of the water is 132.83 times 4.18 times the temperature change, which was 12.8 equals 7106.94, we'll call it. Okay, that's the heat change of the water. Right. But we don't want to know that. We want to know the mass of the metal. Mm -hmm. Did the metal change temperatures? Yes. Yeah, it started at 100. We're down to, what, go down to 37 or something? Yeah, 37 mm -hmm. and a half. So the metal changed temperatures too. If it changed temperatures, then we can use the same formula to find the temperature change. So we'll say Q equals M Cp delta T. The Q of the metal is the same as the Q of the water, which is that number. So 7106.94. The mass of the metal is what we're trying to find. Heat capacity of the metal, we know that.
and then the change in temperature of the metal, we calculated that right here, didn't we? Mm -hmm. So that's 62.5. All right, now do this math. You'd have 0.449 times 62.5, 28.0625. Uh, the units here canceled. This was degree C. Oops. All right, so C is canceled. I just have joules per gram. All right, on this side, you still have the 7106.94 joules. Mm -hmm. So how am I going to solve for the mass? Divide um, to 2862 it's 25 joules by 700, no, 7,000, no, 7,106.94 right. joules. So the 28.0625 goes on the bottom. Right. All right, and that's joules per gram. So really you're going to divide this number by this number, and I think you said this, I think you said it backwards. This oh. by that, you always divide the top by the bottom. Okay. And it's common for people to do it the other way around, but we need to get past that. Yeah. <laughs> so you're not alone. All right. But we need to know it. So th on this yeah. side, they're going to cancel. So you got 7106.94 divided by 28.0625. 253 That's what I got. So I'm going to put that over here. So on this side, everything cancels. This divided by that is 253. Uh, it's 0.25. I'm just going to leave it rounded off at 253. The unit will be grams because joules divided by joules per gram. You're going to multiply by the reciprocal. All right. All right, and that's your final answer. So 253 grams goes in this right, this blank right here, and that's how you did it. So once again, the logic was that the the metal is going to transfer its heat to the water. The water mm -hmm. gains heat. So I had you find the things you needed to know to find the heat gain to the water, the mass of the water, and change of temperature. Multiply by the heat capacity down here at this point, that gave us the heat change of the water, mm -hmm. which is also the heat change of the metal. All so right. I use the same equation, but this time I use metal data. So the heat change of the metal equals the mass we don't know. Heat capacity we do know, it's right here. And the change of temperature we calculated earlier, right there. So I solve for M using my algebra skills. I get M is 253 grams. That's the end of page four.